गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स लेट्स कंटिन्यू अवर डिस्कशन अबाउट डिजाइन ऑफ एल आर यू कैश एस वी डिस्कस इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वेर वी डिजाइन दिस एल आर यू कैश विच इज लीस्ट रिसेंटली यूज कैश वेर वी एवेक्ट ऑल दो एलिमेंट्स विच हैव बीन लीस्ट रिसेंटली यूज इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी एक्चुअली वी वी लेवरेज ऑन द डिजाइन बाई यूजिंग द जावा ए पी आई कलेक्शन विच इज लिंक हैश मैप इन दिस लिंक हैश मैप and let's just quickly revise it uh, so actually we uh, came up with this interface where we have got our custom hash table uh, with key and value as generic elements uh, and we have got uh, normal get put and remove methods and then we implemented uh, our lru cache using this linked hash map from the java api in which we uh, we use this constructor which has got a capacity the load factor and the access order this access order is important because if we mark it as true it means that we want, uh, we are accessing it uh, in the in the in the access mode i mean whichever has been accessed the most recent it would be given the higher priority if we mark this access order is false in that case it will take the default insertion order which means that whichever order uh, whichever element was inserted first that will get, get the higher access a uh, higher priority uh, in, in the in the linked hash map so this was the previous uh, in the previous video we already discussed in details about this along with the test cases now for the follow up we will design the same lru cache but we will not use linked hash map we will use our own uh, linked lists uh, and uh, and the normal hash table uh, like using that and then we will implement our lru cache and we should be also thread safe but before we deep dive into the code let's understand the algorithm first so here we are going to, as in the java api it also uh, this linked hash map is it actually contains of two collections what is the linked list and another is the hash map we are going to use the same in our custom implementation so for the algorithm so we are going to maintain one linked list and one hash map or hash table uh, and then we will try to uh, just look into that what are the three different uh, ways the the methods that we have exposed like get put and remove how we are going to implement this algorithm okay so let's go with the very first one right say put uh, but before that let's also go into the into the very basic design about our linked list that what we are going to implement is that if i go here so this would be our linked list in which we have got uh, each link connected to each other uh, i mean we have got a next node which um, through which we can connect to the next element and suppose this is the head so what we can do is that in this linked list we can maintain an order that whenever uh, any get or put method is called uh, on this linked list we are always going to move that element to the head so whatever is there in the head this is the most recent element which is being accessed and whatever which gets thrown thrown away back to the to the tail that would be the least recent and whenever our capacity hits our load factor in that case only we already know that in this linked list the elements which are at the tail those are the least recently used uh, elements and that can be evicted or removed so this is our very basic algorithm that we are going to use in all the get put and remove methods so let's go back again to our algorithm so once we call this put method right when we are trying to put any element in that case uh, first of all we have to create a new linked list node with key and value and insert it into the head of linked list because we are using put right it means that this element is the most recently uh, i mean element which has been inserted in our lru cache so that will be we move to the head so by head we mean that it will be move here so whenever you are using put it will be always inserted to the head of the linked list which is that uh, which makes it most uh, recent after that if i go back again uh, and also, of course we are also maintaining the hash table uh, in which we will keep on inserting the key and node appear into our hash table hash table as we know that uh, it doesn't guarantee any um, any iteration order or any access order it is just uh, the very, for very fast look up uh, it's just based on the hash code of the key where the bucket is and where it is located but there is no order which can be guaranteed in the hash table so we are just using this hash table just for getting our reference of the node uh, so but we are using this linked list for maintaining the access order for our least uh, for our lru algorithm now we have learned about this put whenever we get a put we create a new linked list we insert it in the head of the linked list and we also insert it into our hash table now let's talk about the get get method where we want to read it again when we talk about the get uh, it means that whatever uh, the node value uh, is uh, located in the linked list it has to be moved to the front or the head of because when we call this get 
it means that now this element is the most recently used that's why we have to again move that node to the head of the linked list and hash table we don't need to update it because it's just a reading operation and it's just maintain the reference uh, of this uh, node and now whenever our as i mentioned that whenever the capacity is reached we already know that whatever is there at the tail of the linked list that needs to be removed so whenever the cache is full whenever we want to apply this uh, cache algorithm eviction um, so whenever we, we have to remove the tail of linked list and we already know in our hash table the reference of that key we can we will also remove it from our hash table so this is all about the algorithm now let's deep dive into our intellij and implement all this uh, get put and all this method that we discussed uh, in our code so here in our code i have already created this uh, class which is what we have just discussed the, the whole algorithm but let's go into into more details now okay so first of all we have created a new class lru cache using linked list and hash tables i gave a very descriptive name of this class which implements our custom hash table which has got get put and remove methods but before that because we are maintaining this uh, list here so linked list here so we uh, we need to have a uh, the key value i mean we are going to create our own custom linked list so that's why i will use uh, our own uh, private static class linked list node with a key and value pair all the node is having already having a key value and we are make, maintaining a double linked list which means that each node would be having the reference to the previous node and the next node this is what it is depicted here in this next and previous uh, members and then we have got this key and value pair and our basic constructor is just to create this uh, using the key and value how we get our net so as discussed here i mean if i go here first whenever we call put method in that case we'll be creating this new linked list with this by calling that constructor the key and value and move to the head of linked list so let's go back uh let's uh, before that let's also discuss some other table that i'm using other data structure that we are using uh, we have got a capacity uh, which is a capacity of our lru cache now we are going to use hash table uh, as a concurrent hash map to make it uh, i'm leveraging again on the java api's concurrent hash map we can create our own custom but uh, i think for this example it's good enough to just use this concurrent hash map uh, and then for this we have got a key and the value is this linked list node our uh, the object of this uh, this static class that we have created that would be the value of this hash table because this is where we are going to get it and uh, in the case of eviction uh, when you are trying to remove elements then we have to also remove it from the hash table and i'm maintaining a read write lock for because we have to make it thread safe as well and uh, we have got this uh, global uh, i mean uh, this this, this uh, the whole class variable is like a list head node and list tail node because as we know that the most recent uh, node which has been uh, which has been put into our link list is pointed by our list head node and the least recent access would be done by the list tail node these are the two very important uh, head nodes and tail nodes which we have to keep track of while we are implementing our uh, lru cache because this will be giving me the head would be giving me the most recent and the tail would be giving me the most the least recent sorry okay so once we have created our constructor it would be just taking the capacity and our would be created but before i go into get let's talk about put first our first algorithm put where we are going to create a new linked list insert it into the head and also insert into our hash table this is the simplest of all so again whenever i try to put i will make it uh, thread safe by implementing a write lock because we are trying to mutate our lru cache for mutation operation or for the update operation we are going to use write lock so again i mean i have maintained uh, a key and value null uh, predicate that whenever we have got a key or value as null it will throw an uh, illegal argument exception and guys this is very important whenever you write any any method to safeguard with some pre conditions that what are the arguments that can that are supposed to be happening if there is any uh, pre condition which fails it should we should always throw an exception and move out of that method so we do the same thing check the pre conditions now uh here i'm also like uh, before i put anything i will uh, remove this key if it's already present but the remove is very simple i just click on here the so remove is again just again maintain the right lock and then it will uh, get from the hash table i will get that the node and it remove from the linked list as well as remove from the hash table we'll go into details very soon but let's go uh, before uh, so remove is that we are going to remove it if it is already there in our hash table or our custom uh, linked li uh, linked list node english okay so after this we will check whether uh, if full we have to remove the least recently used from item from cache 
now guys this is very important that uh, before we are putting it we have to check whether the capacity has been reached or not if the hash table size has already reached the capacity in that case we have to first of all remove the list tail node which is the least recently used only when it is removed then only we are going to insert the new element and but suppose i mean if this not has not reached the capacity then we have to we are going to simply uh, insert it at the front of linked list which is the head of the linked list so if i just click here so here this is the implementation when we want to insert it at the head of the linked list so if the linked list code is not has not been created is the very first element in that case our node would be null so we simply call this list head node and tail node both as as null this is only one element right now but if we already have got previous elements in our in our linked list in that case we'll get the previous node first uh, in this node i mean we'll mark this as previous and then in this node next would be the head of the node and the head of node would be pointing to that node so what we are doing is this like a like a double uh, like a temporary uh, uh, variable swap swapping where we create this node as the previous node of the current head so what it means is that if i just again go here so we create a new node uh, and the new and the whatever is there at the head at the moment uh, that that head's previous node would be that new node and once we swap this the previous of this then that node with the new node which has been added that node's next node would be the current head and then we update the head back to the new node okay. so this is the like three steps by which we update or insert a new node at the head of the node of our linked list so once we are done with this so after this uh, we just put it into the hash table normally and then we finally we move out of this right block we have to always mark it into finally block so just to revise this again when we call this put method first of all we create a right block and then we check for the preconditions whether the key or value is null and then first for, uh, if the key is already present we remove it from our both linked list as well as hash table and uh, also we have another check that if the capacity is already uh, like reaches its capacity uh, as a th as a threshold in that case we are going to first of all remove it uh, remove the tail node uh, before we actually do anything and then only we will going to after this after all this cleanup has checks has been done only then we are going to proceed with the uh, insertion insertion of new node by creating this new linked li uh, list node by the calling this constructor and then insert it at the front of linked list and also put it in our hash table and after that in the final block we will uh, we will just unlock it so this is how uh, we actually uh, have implemented the put method by creating this read write block uh, which will ensure that whenever any mutation is happening we are going to guard it with our read write block only for the write block now let's get get back to the get method in the get method we are again uh, it's very simple that whenever we are trying to get any element from the we have to move that linked list linked list node because it, now it has become the most recently used that's why we have to move that node to the front of the linked list hash table doesn't need to be updated because it's just maintaining the reference we are just having a read operation let's get back to the code again so here is my implementation of get now here we are going to take the read log in the put because that was a mutation we are using write lock but in the get we are going to use read lock here again we have got a similar kind of precondition that if the key is null it will throw illegal argument exception now first of all uh, we will try to get the the node reference by in the, in the hash table by the by the key once we get the key and that if the if the if the value is already present there if there's any key associated already in our linked list and hash table in that case uh, only we will get this node otherwise it will if the node is null Will return null that there is no uh, value associated with this key. After this, uh, once we get this node difference, because we have to re only return this node, but we have to update before we return this node value. We have to first of all return this. Uh, uh, we have to move this uh, node to the front of the linked list. So this is where we, this is the operation that we are doing it here. So if the node is not equal to list head node, in that case we have to remove. from the because if if the node is already there in, in the head node then we don't need to do anything because it's already the most recently used only in the case when it's not the list head node only in that case we have to first of all remove it from the linked list and that then insert it at the front of linked list this method we have already checked let's go with the remove from link, linked list for removing it's very simple again uh, we are just going to maintain uh, because for each of the node we are uh, it's a double linked list it has got both previous node and the next node So we are going to check everything that with the previous is not equal to null then we have to update the previous node again we have if there's the next node is not null then we have to update the previous uh, again the next previous i mean you can go through the details but the idea is that 
if we are removing an, an element from the middle of uh, say two one previous and one the, on the, uh, the next node in that case we have to update both the previous and the next because for the previous one it would be updated uh, to the to the next node of the of the node we are deleting similarly for the next node which is which is there uh, that node should be the, that node's previous node would not would be uh, the previous of the deleted node okay, just getting a little bit confusing but if you think about it it's it's quite simple logic uh, what it means is that if I'm going to delete this C element, right? So D is the previous and B is the next, right? So we have to update this B element. Uh, B's element previous should be pointing to the D. And similarly, the D next element should be pointing to B. So this is how we are going to update this. As I mentioned, it's quite simple. It's just not very visible from the code. But this is what it has been implemented. And finally, we remove this node. Okay, so this is how we remove root from the link list. Okay, and uh, so after that, we insert it at a friend and then we return the node value. And in finally block, again, we uh, unlock the read log that we have, we have found in. This was about uh, uh, the get, the put and get. Now let's talk about the remove method. So if uh, again, remove is a mutation operation again. So for that, again, we are going to use a write log. And again, we have to check for the, for the uh, precondition for the key. Remove is very, very simple. What we have to do is that, first of all, because we have to remove a particular key, right? So we have to simply remove it uh, from both the linked list and hash table. We don't have to maintain any uh, any uh, LRU uh, cache algorithm that it has to, uh, because whenever we remove, it has to be totally removed from both the hash table and the linked list. Because this was all about uh, the remove operating methods. Just to summarize that, uh, whenever we are using this get, put, and remove methods, only in the get and put we have to uh, keep uh, we have to care about uh, the LRU cache algorithm that when you are trying to put whenever you're trying to put we have all we have to always insert the node into the front of the linked list and in the get operation whenever we are trying to read it we have to move that element that we are reading to the front of the linked list so these are the two most important uh, things that we have to take care of while implementing input put and get methods Remove is quite simple. We have to simply remove it from our linked list and hash map. So guys, this was the, all the algorithm. We have gone through the code. Uh, in the next video, we'll go through some test cases and learn all these things that we have uh, implemented in our get, put, and remove methods and see whether our understanding is correct or not. So see you all in the next video.